It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. So in 21, we have a box here that is 2 by 3 by 4, and they want to know the surface area, which is when you find the area of each one of these rectangles on all six sides and add them together. Well, 2 times 3 is going to give me 6. We have that on this side and on the back side, so that's a total of 12. This guy right here is going to be 4 times 2, which gives us 8. And again, right there and on the other side over here, giving us a total of 16. And last but not least, we have the 4 by 3, which is 12. And we have that on the top and bottom, so adding together to give me 24. Then we need to add all of these up to get our surface area. So 6 and 4 is going to give me 10. Another 2 will leave me with 2 and a one over there, so two, three, four, five. So our final answer should be 52, which is answer D. So 22 is just some simple algebra here. It says 100 divided by x is equal to 10n. Then which of the following is equal to n times x? So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. We got 100 divided by x equals 10n. That's what this is saying right here. Well, the opposite of dividing is multiplying, so I'm going to multiply this x to the other side. So that cancels it out over here and puts in x here. Then to get rid of this 10, it's currently being multiplied by these two, so I'm going to divide both sides by 10. Now, 100 divided by 10, it's going to cancel out over here, is going to give me 10 equals nx, which is answer A. So for number 23, we have to find the value of x in this figure up here. Well, I know that a full circle is 360 degrees, so if we add these three together, it should give me 360. So let's just go ahead and add them together by combining like terms. 15 minus 10 minus 5 is actually going to give me 0, so all of those will cancel out. So then we have 4x plus 6x is going to be 10x, plus another 2 is going to give me 12 x. And again, this is equal to 360. So now all I have to do is divide both sides by 12, and that gives me that x is going to be equal to 30, which is answer B. So 24 is trying to show you what a factorial is, which is an explanation point in mathematics, and then it's asking you to find one of these. So an explanation in mathematics, factorial, means that you take that number and multiply it by every number underneath it down to 1. So if I'm looking for 5 factorial, I can just remove these two, and we multiply 5 by every number under it until 1. So 5 times 4 is 20, times another 3 would give us 60, times another 2 would give us 120, and 1 will keep it the same. So our final answer is C. So I'm going to reword this question for 25 to help out a bit. It says that we have five groups of n photos. So you have five groups of n photos. Now we're going to give three friends one of those groups of n. So this goes to friend one, this goes to friend two, and this goes to friend three. So then it wants to know how many photographs she'll have left. Well, you still have two groups of those n's left, so that means that you would have two n photos left, which is answer A. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB, so make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni, and if you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below, and make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.